Hello everyone, and welcome to my monthly Mr. News wrap up of what I feel to be the most significant Mr. News for the month of November 2022. I'll first start off with the announcement of the FM Towns Marty Core that's being developed by user Pew on the Mr. FPGA forums. FM Towns is a Japanese computer that had some pretty good arcade ports. You can currently test the core out for yourself by downloading it from the developer's homepage. If you're planning on buying a Mr. in the future, you may want to purchase it as quickly as possible before January. Ultimate Mr., a vendor of Mr. products and accessories, has been notified by Terrasic, which is the manufacturer of the E10 Nano, that a price increase will be coming in January. What that price increase is is not known, but you may want to get that DE10 Nano now. Shane McRetro was able to archive the entire GeoCities website. GeoCities was a place where anyone could just log in and create their own homepage. It was a very popular place to have your own website. So Shane McRetro took that archive of GeoCities that he created and made it browsable through the Mr. FPGA. The way he accomplished this was by using a Raspberry Pi to host the GeoCities archive. He then used the Mr. FPGA that's connected to a 14.4K modem to dial into the Pi, which was also connected to a modem. Using these classic modems will give you a more authentic experience. The entire process is documented in a forum post. You can also visit his YouTube channel to see how he set everything up and a demonstration of browsing GeoCities. If you have an arcade cabinet and want to set it up to be as hassle-free as possible, Retro RGB has a video showing you to do just that. You are shown two methods for setting up the arcade cabinet. One method will show you how to set up an arcade cabinet with a standard landscape screen, and another method will allow you to set up an arcade cabinet that only plays vertical games. The PCXT core has gotten several new graphics modes including several Tandy modes. Along with those graphics modes, there's been a major update with using hard drives on this core. Before, the process of getting hard drives to work on the core involved using an external program before you run the core. Now, using hard disk images on this core works exactly like it does in AO46 and other computer cores. There's been two dead CPS3 boards that have been donated to Hotego. These boards will be used to help extract schematics and obtain crucial information from the PCBs. It was important to use dead boards which cannot be revived because the process that are used to extract these schematics and do the research will be destructive. So using a good board will just end up destroying it. One board was donated by the Texas Shot Takers. The other board was donated by Mr. Caesar. Thanks to Robert Garcia Lago, we now have some new console entries for systems that were lumped with other consoles. For example, the Atari 2600 core was consolidated with the Atari 7800 core. Game Gear games require you to boot up the Sega Master System core. Now, thanks to Robert Garcia Lago, who created Mr. Game Launcher files, we have some consoles that now have their own menu. These consoles are the Atari 2600, Game Boy Color, Mega Duck, Wondrous One Color, SG-1000, and the Game Gear. If you want the ability to download extra cores that the official downloader won't update, or even update all won't download, you can check out the Insert Coin script, developed by Funky Coach Eyes. This script will download some in-development cores that are publicly available so that you won't have to download them yourself and install them manually. SRG-320 has made several updates to the Saturn core, getting even more games working. He's made updates to the CPU, the SCU, which is the math coprocessor, VDP1, VDP2, the SMPC, and the CD controller. New games that were affected by these changes are Fighting Vipers, FIFA 97, Sky Target, PTO2, Siberia, Street Fighter Alpha, Striker 96, and Mashing of Hidden Souls. But also perhaps some other games will also be affected. The latest release of the PlayStation Core has implemented the 480i to 480p hack. What this does is eliminate interlacing artifacts on games. On this screenshot, you can notice all these lines on the leg of this character. If you look on the other side of the screenshot, you don't see any of those lines. Those lines are interlacing artifacts, and this hack will eliminate those. 
The developer also added 4-player analog multi-tap support, and this support was implemented by user Markin. In addition to these major features, there were a lot of bug fixes that helped improve the accuracy of the core. There is also an SD card migration utility for Mister. This will make it easy for your current Mister install to be migrated to another SD card. The cool thing about this utility is that it will work with cards that are bigger or smaller. Just make sure that if you migrate to another SD card that's smaller, that it can fit the data that the old card has. I also want to highlight some hardware announcements. The Mini ITX Ironclad Plus board, which was celebrating its one year anniversary, has started selling an MT32 Pi internal hat. This will give you the ability to play upgraded music on some computer cores. The Ironclad Plus is a Mini ITX board that pretty much fits on any computer case. There is a fifth batch available for pre-order now. It says out of stock here, but if you read the description on this link, you will get information on how to get on the fifth batch. And for owners of the Mr. Multi-System board, the creators released a Pi MMS expansion cartridge. This cartridge will also give you the ability to play upgraded music on certain computer cores. If you're interested on the technical specifications of this cartridge, there's an available PDF with the datasheet. Mr. Addons released an Admin Buttons breakout board for his Mr. K board. This provides an easy way to connect dedicated on-screen display, menu, pause, and reset buttons to a Mr. K setup. Prototype pictures of the Jama Himitsu board, Saru version, are available to see on Twitter. This is another I.O. board with Jama connectors, but a simplified version compared to the Kami version. This one is a lower cost board and it will have no direct video, no USB hub, and no video amplifier. And now, here's a list of newly released cores for the month. We have Express Raider, There's the Alpha Denshi core, which runs games like Gang Wars. Sky Adventure. And Super Champion Baseball. A core for the arcade game Tropical Angel was released. There's a core for Sun Sun. A Bosconian core. Congo Bongo. Psychic 5 Crystal Castles And my favorite releases Outrun and Turbo Outrun. And some new cores that have had some development updates but aren't released yet are the BBC Bridge Companion Core, the Clean Sweep Core, and the Jet Fighter Core. So that's it for this month. Please check the description for any sources of any news items I spoke about. And if there's something I might have missed, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.